The nor'easter that brought us our first significant snowfall of the season over the weekend went through several evolutions before it became the storm that we knew oh, just a few days ago. It actually started off as just a center of low pressure across the lower Mississippi River Valley that brought severe thunderstorms to the Gulf Coast Friday morning. The center of low pressure then began to work to the northeast and it spun out a new coastal low pressure system just off the coast of North Carolina. That's when it became a true nor'easter as the low continued to slide along the east coast, dumping snow across the mid-Atlantic states Friday and into much of Saturday. And once the storm then finally wrapped up, uh, some of the highest snowfall totals were actually observed right here in the mountain state as Glengarry had the highest total of 42 inches of snow across the eastern panhandle. Meanwhile, closer to home in north central West Virginia, we received reports from a foot to up to three feet further to our north in Pittsburgh. They only picked up five inches of snow. Meanwhile, this was a record setting storm in Baltimore, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and also New York City as they saw the greatest snowfall totals for a single event on record. Meanwhile, from Virginia to Massachusetts, blizzard conditions were observed throughout the weekend. And also, since we were dealing with an astronomical high tide, there was coastal flooding towards the levels of Hurricane Sandy in Delaware and New Jersey. So now you know, for 5 News, I'm meteorologist Jill Swed. Be sure to stay tuned. 5 News at 530 is coming up next.